Microsoft's PA equipment like in South America. Tonight I noticed you had quite an extensive PA and it sounded, I thought, really good. What's PA? What are, pathetic asshole. What, what are, what is the PA like in South America? What are they like? What are the tech crews there like? Evie. Evie. Univox. Has your, te- did, was, does your tech crew, has it improved your sound? You think like in South America, were they freaking out? What was it like there? I don't remember. Because I once heard shot coke with Alice in Chains all night. I don't remember. Did you really custom design a guitar, your own special little model? Yeah. How many models were there, and can I buy one? I don't know. I don't know if it's gone into production yet. I don't know if it'll be available for the public. It's up to them to decide. But I basically just, I, well, so what I did is I took a picture of a Mustang, a Polaroid picture of a Mustang and a picture of a Jaguar, and then cut them in half and glued them together and told them to build that. So that's what it is. It's the Jag Stang. Have you ever thought of using an Echoplex? I do. That's so, that's so psychedelic furs. Well, actually, what to call it? That's so big kahuna from Girl Trouble. He uses one. I have one. And what's the neat thing about the Echoplex? Every time when you get home from the gig, you can play and hear your last note. Yeah. <laughs> So it can live on and on and on. Um, Kurt, winding up here, <laughs> speaking here to Kurt Cobain backstage. Yeah. What? How about a blowjob, Mahmoud? What? What, when did this conked out? Yeah, seconds ago. Are you going on television now? In the, um, I'm not sure. We like taking the audio for radio and maybe for TV someday. Unfortunately, our viewfinder is not working, so we don't even know if picture is coming through. But we're sure, we're sure hoping that it does. And as I said, we're speaking here backstage at the Forum with Kurt Cobain and the rest of Nirvana here. And I was wondering, what other bands, Kurt, have played in Argentina? Like, you played there. What was it like? And Were you one of the first bands to play there, Juno? I don't think so. I've heard that Skid Row played there. Have any other melodic punk bands played there? I do not know. We played at the Chili Peppers that night. Ever heard of the Canadian band Saga before? Yeah, I think so. Are they a pop metal band? I think they played in Argentina. Kurt, what did you think of the last Flipper LP? Eh. Okay. What were Bjorn again like from Europe? Wonderful. Uncanny. Amazing. They looked exactly and sounded exactly like ABBA. Are they better than Rain, a tribute to the Beatles? I've never seen them. They had a big center spread in a rocket. Mm. Have you ever going to get Screaming Jay Hawkins to try to back you up again? We tried, but it fell through. I would like to try again. Anybody else cool that you can think you're going to bring with you and back you up? Like, I was thinking The Sweet, maybe, and get Kurt Block, the guest on guitar? That wouldn't be too hard, would it? No, or Vol Village people would be no problem. Anybody else you've been thinking of? Well, those are two that just ran through my mind. Um, no, not really. Buscox. Buscox. We've had some amazing bands play with us on this tour. We had um, The Boredoms, The Meat Puppets, and, gee, who else? Shawbreaker? But no Bonham or Quiet Riot or anything? Not yet. Courtney said playing at the Riviera Steakhouse in a couple of years. Courtney said Geffen, Kurt, made fifty-five million dollars off you, and you guys. I'm oh, quoting the Wall Street Journal. And you guys only got a million. Where did the money go? To Geffen. <laughs> it's always been. I explain that to you. It's like a white guy giving a black guy a Cadillac. I walked into David's room one day and I said, "Listen, man, I feel like I'm getting ripped off." And he said. Look outside. There's a Cadillac for you. And I took it. And then I just, you know, just forgot all about trying to get my royalties from him. And it turns out the fucking Cadillac was rented. Can you believe it? Um, if Nirvana has total control, Kurt, I was wondering slightly about ticket prices for gigs. Is there any way to make tickets and t-shirts universally the same, i.e. $10 to get into the gig and $10 for a t-shirt? No. Unless you're for Gauzy. Has any band ever tried that before? I mean, on a major label, you know, because you have perhaps more control over what's going on. You could maybe, because you guys are playing a cool place tonight, like a small, it's on a big coliseum. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Really. It's really expensive to bring your own PA system and lights and stuff. You barely break even. And Kurt, what was it like doing the soundtrack to the Touchables here? Hmm. The Touchables. Pretty neat. Do you know what you and Axel have something in common, Kurt? 
Yeah, a lot. You both sing in uh, fake English accents as he does in the Spaghetti Incident <laughs> on the new UK Subs track. Did you check it out? No, I haven't. Actually, sort of kicked ass. That's against Rose recording of the UK Subs because you mentioned in your book that you actually record or the book about you come as you are you some fake English accents. Mm-hmm. What can I say? I'm a death rocker. Have you ever thought of partying with Bill Gates at all? Finally winding up here, Kurt. Is that Bill Gates from Microsoft partying with Bill Gates? Because you know, who are the two newest members of the Seattle scene, Kurt? Here's a trick question for you. Bill Gates. Microsoft and Nintendo. And finally, Nintendo Kurt. Nintendo and uh, Seattle now. Nirvana. It is. It's based out of Seattle. And finally, Kurt Cobain of the rock and roll band Nirvana. If Frances Farmer will have her revenge on Seattle, who will have their revenge on Vancouver? Pete Reno. Is Wagner from here? Who? I don't know. Eddie Munster. Eddie Munster. He's from Vancouver, right? Uh, Kurt? Pete Reno, I said it. Who's Pete Reno? You know. Oh, Leatherboy, right. Oh, Mike Reno. That's Mike, Mike, Mike Renowski, actually. Oh, Pete Reno's this half-retarded person that went to my high school. Sorry. And going to be on Exploitation Records? Mm-hmm. Uh, Kurt? do 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 loot do Kurt? do 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 loot do 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 loot do Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Oh, Kurt, can we get you to a station ID just quickly, this one? This for CITR? This one so I can, this, this one, this for fun? Station ID, Kurt, this CITR radio? CITR, CITR radio. And who are you? Nardwar's cousin. Which, <laughs> if you say I'm Kurt and you're listening to CITR radio? I'm Kurt and you're listening to CITR radio. I'm Kurt Cobain and you're listening to CITR radio? No, you're not. Bye. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Is everything okay? Courtney?